everybody, welcome. Welcome back to the new academic year. I'm just getting myself ready and start to, to start my teaching. I know for many of you, you are already in your second week. Hope that's going well. Or some of you may be starting this week or maybe some of you even going on to the following week. So the question <laughs> that I ask is, would, what would you rather? Would you rather sit and do some planning or would you rather go and climb up a hill? It's a bit of a cheat because I've done both today. I'm very fortunate. It's a glorious day up here, here in Yorkshire. So I've been up a fell and it was something I'd wanted to do for, for quite a few months. So I'm going, yay, I've done it. But I've also been doing my planning because I need to get myself ready for my students who I've got. So I just thought I'd pop in and just talk a little bit about the planning process that I go through. We have been discussing this quite a lot in the Curious Piano Teachers, obviously over the last 10 days, because we're all starting again. And we've all got our own individual ways of doing it. I love planning and I was, I kind of forget that I love it until I start it again and I go, oh yeah, I do like this. So here's what I do. Um, and it changes all the time, but this is my current situation. I do what we call big picture planning at this moment in time. My big picture planning involves looking at the student, what they did last year, where we've got to, and also thinking about what the next skills and concepts are that they are going to be covering in this year. And to do that, I will very much use, I'll just, I've got it here on the computer. No, I've got it on this one, actually. I will use the Piano Framework Tracker because I have found that so invaluable at actually keeping a note of what they've done and knowing that actually we need to move forward. So, for example, with one of my students that I've got, um, I think we've done triplets in simple time we've certainly done things like um, compound time and stuff like that but I'm not a hundred percent sure that she really gets the difference between the the triplet in simple time so I know I'm going to go in this afternoon with her and give her a really straightforward piece in simple time with one triplet in it and I'll just see what she does with it so that's great for me to sort of refresh my head about it um, so this big picture planning starts with looking at the piano framework, going through all those skills. Now, this takes time. It really does take time. But the good news, the good news is that it only happens for me twice a year. And actually, you could get away with it probably once a year. And it happens now in quite a big and in-depth way. And then a light touch way again in January. So come January, I will double check where we've got to and make sure that we're on track for where we're going. Because really this is all to do with progression, isn't it? It's all to do with making sure that progress is happening. Now there's a lot of issues around progress. It's not just the planning, but if you, the teacher, have a clear direction in mind, then you'll find that the student will get more motivated because that. And it's nothing to do with exams. This It is to do with the development of skills and concepts, of course. So after the big picture planning, I will then look at a more um, detailed plan, something that I can refer to on a very regular basis on a, on a page. And I've got it here. I was thinking, what shall I call this? I mean, you can call it medium term if you like. Um, it is sort of for the term or maybe two terms. I don't know. But certainly at the moment, this one's for the term. And I use Evernote, so that's my note taking tool. And of course, we have Ed, the curious elephant. And this is really a reminder to help things stick in my head. So maybe it's the elephant stage. I don't know. But anyhow, it's the stage where I bring things down. I write down all the skills and concepts that are going to be learned. And I will find specific repertoire, um, maybe two or three ideas if I can, for each of the concepts. Not every concept has to be covered here because some of them will be covered anyhow because of the repertoire that we're learning. So it's kind of, I look at the big, big skills and concepts and try and fit that to repertoire. So that's kind of my medium term. And then, and that doesn't take very long, once you've got the big picture in place, you see, it's very exciting. And then, week by week, I have just a paper 
like this, I have a folder with, with a, a, a divider for all my students because I like, I like writing things in lessons. I did try digital for a while, but it just wasn't quite the same, wasn't quite doing it for me. So everything else is digital, this is paper. And I just have a very short, um, I've got four lessons on here, believe it or not, and I've just got activities and comments. And next week, the best place to do next week's planning is at the end of this lesson, the end of this week's lesson. So you can just jot down little ideas here. I've also got the big three targets for the for autumn term. I won't be writing those in until the lesson with a student because I'd like the student to be involved both in their repertoire choices and also in deciding what the big three goals are. They, it's their learning and they have to be very much part of this planning process. But, coming back to it, if you've got the big picture, then all this begins to fit in. It really does. It takes time, it takes effort. And it, it also doesn't all work straight away. That's absolutely fine. But actually, once you've got your plans in place, you start to work with them. It makes the day by, day by day, week by week, planning and teaching so much easier, even if you've got, say, 50 students. Well, I hope you found that useful. Ooh, a lot of words coming out there very quickly. Um, thank you so much for watching. I can see that Catherine is watching. Hi, Catherine. I hope you, you're doing well wherever you are. And Brian as well. Lovely. Hello, Brian. Hope you're all well and having a good teaching um, so far this, this year, this term. Happy teaching. Stay curious. Look forward to seeing you again very soon for another live. Bye for now.